the my, fact you're even blaming is, the ref, Liga. The my fact whole you're thing even is, blaming one, one, I thought we were the better team, number one. I thought we were better than Liverpool, number Based one. Based on what? Number, number two, I thought overall, in the entirety of the game, when you look at the whole run of the game, until we had the until we had the injuries to Gabriel Magales and, and and Timber, we weren't as negative as we were after that point. And then from there, you can criticize the manager, you can criticize the players. But when we did attack, it was terrible defending. We conceded that goal, and in the nine in the eighty ninth minute and like fifty something seconds, Anthony Taylor does not uh, calls a foul on what I believe is not a foul. The man got to the ball first. You're not rewarding a defender for being a coward in that situation. And then they try to then then they try to say people try to say it's a handball, it's a foul from Havertz on Kanate. Those things did not have anything to do with his decision. He already made it and he already blew his whistle at that point. In that situation, in a goal scoring opportunity, you're you're taught not to blow the whistle. You're taught to let the play continue so you can review it with VAR afterwards. And, and he didn't do that. He blew the uh, the ball dead and what could have been a title deciding opportunity right there. Honestly, right, well, I, I totally I disagree, cute. right? I'll tell you why. Gabriel Magalhaes went off on the 54th minute, right? And this okay. manager's starting 11. Yeah, he didn't want to play Zinchenko or Kivio because he don't trust either of them. And he's done 60 million quid on the pair, right? He didn't want to start either of them. So what he did is he decided that our best midfielder, Thomas Party, will play at right back to shoehorn Ben White in at centre back to then play a right back stroke centre back at left back, right? So the starting 11 straight away was off key. Mikel Marino in midfield with Thomas uh, with Declan Rice, yeah, was never going to dominate their midfield. Although I don't think we got overrun. I thought their midfield was shocking. Yeah, they, we both had moments in that game where we dominated certain parts and they dominated certain parts. I thought we'd get overrun when I see McAllister starting, uh, Grave, Grave, uh, Graven Birch, and oh, we did better than them. No, no, no. Well, wait. Let me say, we had one shot on target in the second half. One. Yeah, one, one shot on target. One shot on target, second half. Yeah, one. Wow. Right. Not only that, we took the lead twice in that game. Right. And this best defense and all of this, you can say injuries left, right, and center. Cool. Well, they had Allison out. They had Jota out. They had Harvey Elliott out. Yeah. These are players that are key players to their team. Whether you like Harvey Elliott or not, he's a top baller. Yeah. And he gets minutes. Yeah. McAllister had just come back from an injury. Yeah. And not only that, we're at home. Our goalkeeper's getting booked for time wasting again. Yeah, he got booked for time wasting against Brighton. Yeah, when we were drawing one one in stoppage time, he got booked for time wasting. Our goalkeeper's been booked for time wasting twice at home when we're not winning a game. That's, that's yeah, true. which is crazy. Yeah, that's that true. makes no sense to me. This manager is so negative. Yeah, Bakayo Saka had three touches. Yeah, twenty eight minutes into the second half, seventy third minute of that second half, I said, "Is he still on the pitch? I ain't seen him." Somebody in my chat, I said, "I said, chat, help me out." I said, so "You've got all these apps on your phone. How many touches he had?" Yeah, they said 28 minutes into the second half, he's had three touches. Yeah, then he gets the ball and has another three or four. Yeah, kicks it straight to them and they get the ball back. Right? Then he gets taken off. He had seven, six or seven touches second half. Martinelli, every time he got the ball yesterday, yeah, he could have blitzed down the wing. Arteta was yapping. Don't know what he was saying, but he was clearly telling him, don't keep running, slow down, keep the ball. Because every time he had a chance to take Kanati on down that side, he stopped. The one time he didn't, yeah, he crossed it straight to them. They broke and scored. Yeah, that game was a shit show second half, yeah? And we should have won that game. First half, I thought we were outstanding. Yeah, yeah. the ball from Ben White, That's Saka good. absolutely ruined Robbo. Yeah, and I was like, cool. But coming to the incident that you're talking about, yeah? Number one, it is a foul. Yeah. Secondly, well, even if... It, let's say it's not a foul. Let's say it's not a foul. Well, it's handball on... Tw it's uh, not handball. It is handball. It, no, it is. It I've seen everyone using this little graphic. It hit him here. It didn't hit him here. It hit him here. Yeah, it, it, on the that's right. still considered part of your shoulder. Yeah, but no, what's underneath your shoulder? Your is considered part okay. of your shoulder. Okay, okay. Well, let's, let's assume, Sam, one sec. Let's Go assume, on. let's assume that's still not handball. So let's assume the foul's not a foul, and that's not handball. He still put his arm straight across Konati's face, so that's, that's a foul. That's not what they called the foul for, though. No, that's not what they called the foul for. But I, And I said, when I watched that in real time, yeah, me, um, Matty and Ola were watching that. I said, what's going on here? What's happened? What's happened? Then when I spoke to Craig, a Liverpool fan, yeah, and he said to me that they blew three seconds before the ball even went anywhere near the back of the net. Even if the even if we did all of that and none of that was a foul, none of it was a handball, the foul on Kanati, well, he still threw Trent in the back of the net. So that's a foul. Yeah, that's not a goal, bro. And we can't keep relying on referees. And as for this referee, by the way, he was the same referee last season that ref the Arsenal three Liverpool one at the Emirates. Yeah, in that game, he sent Kanati off. 
Yeah, in that game, Kai Havertz, I've said his name, take a shot. Bosh. Kai Havertz got a yellow card in the 95th minute <laughs> for dissent. Yeah. I'll send you a, a video right now. It's only eight seconds long. You can't play it. You'll get done for copyright. Yeah. I'll send it to you yeah. right now. Tell me how he never got booked for this. Yeah, because this is on Van Dyke last season. Yeah. So when you're seeing the clips of Van Dyke and him hustling and him falling on the floor and all of this and this, cool. That was last season when we were winning the game. Yeah. And we won the game 3 1. How is that not a yellow card? Yeah. Not only that, yeah, he threw the, uh, the linesman's uh, flag out of his hand last season in that fixture. Do you remember that? You're on mute. Okay, you're on mute. Okay, so I, I just watched the video. If you guys don't know what he's talking about, he's talking about last season's game. Van Dyke goes for a header. Kai Havertz doesn't even play the ball. He just runs straight into Kai Havertz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, he just straight runs straight into him and parts him. That could have that could have broke his neck, his back, anything. He didn't get booked for that, you know. Man, he also threw the linesman's flag out of his hand. Yeah, and threw it on the floor in the same game on the right wing. That's on the left wing. He just done that one. He threw the linesman's flag out of his hand on the floor. That should be a straight yellow card. Yeah, didn't get booked for that. He got booked in the 95th minute because I checked it earlier. Yeah, and that was for dissent. Yeah, the amount of times 29 gets away without yellow cards. Yeah, and just runs off out the crime scene is crazy. Furthermore, when you say there's a conspiracy um, to stop us winning the league, can, yeah, can I you do realize who owns the PGMOL, don't you? No, I don't. It's... Okay, cool. Because this, this might this change. Is it Saudi? No, this, this, no, no, no. No. The Premier League, the EFL, and the FA all part own and fund. So all three of them fund the PGMOL, and they all own the PGMOL between the three of them. The EFL, the FA, and the Premier League. So if there's a conspiracy to stop Arsenal and any other club winning and helping Man City, which I'll quickly get to in a second, I'll shut up and let everyone else go. No, we can touch Why on are they charging well. him 115 times then? Because this makes no sense, bro. Right no. now, coming to Man City and uh, they never get any decisions against them. Anthony Gordon dived this season, penalty. It weren't a penalty, bro. They drew one one. Man City were one nil up. Anthony Gordon dives penalty. Yeah, let's go back to last season. He Chan for Wolves should have had a second yellow card. Yeah, didn't get a second yellow card. Stayed on the pitch and scored Grealish. the winner. Yeah? Yeah, bro, no, Grealish. Bro, bro, bro. Grealish yeah, for, let me land. Let me land. Like, let me land, bro. Let me land agree? one sec. Let me land one sec. Yeah, Arsenal fans don't agree. Right. <laughs> Rashford, do you remember when he wasn't interfering and all of this and that? Yeah. And he went through and scored against Man City and they won the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was last season as well. Or the season before. Couldn't yeah. we, that, couldn't we that, name no, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, we can. But my point is, you guys in the Arsenal fan base, not all of you, but a lot of you, always say, oh, they never get any decisions against them. They do. They actually do. I'll give you another one. Yeah. Haaland against Tottenham last season at White Hart Lane. Gets fouled on the halfway line in the penalty uh, in the center circle, yeah. But he whips the ball; he gets wiped out. Grealish is clean through, bruv. Yeah, ref plays on. I think it was actually Anthony Taylor that was the. Um, no, 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 it ref. wasn't. It was another. It was. It wasn't Taylor. No, it was Either way, uh, is it, uh, Grealish uh, is clean Colin through Brown, on goal. Yeah, it was a guy he against was... Liverpool, Tottenham. The, the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He was clean exactly. through on goal. Whether Van der Ven catches him or not is irrelevant. Yeah, he's clean through, and Grealish is a tricky customer, bro. Yeah, so whether he catches him or not, he could keep the ball, he could win a foul, he could get a corner, he could take a shot. Haaland was getting back up and cut, catching him up. He could have laid it off to him. Yeah, other players were catching him up. The ref plays on. As soon as he sees Grealish clean through in stoppage time, he brings it back for a foul. After he's played on. So when people want to say it's a conspiracy to stop Arsenal winning and say help Man City, that's complete nonsense, bro. Yeah, look at uh, another time when they played Newcastle. I think the 3-3 game. Yeah, the decisions in that game against Man City were wild, bro. Yeah, they have had decision after decision. The problem is Man City fans don't cry about it. Yeah, every single time Arsenal do not win a game, we blame the refs. Yeah, and this is why our club won't win nothing, mate. Once yeah, because we have to have accountability for ourselves. Why is it when we went clean through the other week against Bournemouth, yeah, why didn't Martin Ellis score? Everyone was moaning about the red card. Yeah, he then when Liverpool played Chelsea the next day, everyone's, and including you, were saying, oh, how's that not different? Well, it ain't different because Colwell, the bounce of the ball was going to Colwell and he would have got it. Ben White's nowhere near on our one. Yeah. Saliba didn't need to touch him, bro. He would have caught him up. Uh, uh, El Man, uh, uh, whatever Vader or whatever his name is, ain't even that Maybe. quick. Yeah. So my point is, yeah, and my final thing, and I'll shut up. My point is, yeah, why don't we have the same accountability for our manager's tactics, our manager's starting 11s, yeah, the amount of money we've spent, the fact our squad's a 22-man squad, factually, not a 25-man squad, when we were that close to two titles, and everyone's gassing up all these players, the fixed bench. The fixed bench is only fixed until we have to use it. Then it's a problem. Okay. Uh, Lee, are you done? Yeah. Okay. 
first of all, I think the the foul is a 50-50 and is subjective, but the player does not, uh, the referee doesn't call the foul until after when Havertz has, is already pre, pretty much through on goal. At that point, he should have let the play play on and VR can review it. That's the issue that I have with it. I believe I believe that would have been a goal that would have stood if VR reviewed it, as it was an extremely soft foul on on KVR, which you are now rewarding the def the defender for 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 basically ducking a challenge. Number one. Number two. When it comes to Arsenal and referees in general, the issue that I have is that we, it seems like we're being refereed slightly differently because I have not seen another Premier League team get a second yellow or get a single yellow bar Manchester United uh, get a yellow card for kicking the ball away. I, I, we've, there has been, what is it, nine weeks, eight weeks? Remind yeah, me. You're that. making the exception the rule. The exception no, 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 is not no. the rule. I'm getting to a point, though. I'm getting to a point, totally. Okay, we have well. seen it even in our own games, in the same game where a referee <laughs> gives Leandro Trussard a yellow card, offense for uh, for kicking the ball away but doesn't give a thing you can even admit that we've seen uh we uh the the ha the Declan Rice one as much as people want to put it on Declan Rice and say it's a poor decision from him that was extremely soft and I've never seen that be well, Declan before. Rice even admitted he should have been sent off so that puts that to bed that that's what he's supposed to do as a professional to admit and put his hand up he's not he's not supposed to sit there and deny it but we can all sit here and be honest. We've not seen any player get those calls given to them. And until now, we've not seen any other team get that call. So Bruno, that's why people Bruno, are arguing. Number one. Bruno, number two, wait, number two the red card for Saliba. The reason uh, you could you can argue that is a red card, but it's not consistent. We've there you seen go. Trent, Trent seen, got a yellow we, card in one of their games for doing the likewise. Yeah, we've seen away. Spurs get a yellow card yesterday. The players okay, so you have seen players yeah, because it's not a second yellow card is what you're saying. Bro, that's a red card offense. No, no, if, no, hold, if, no, 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 no. We're taking the ball away. It doesn't matter. Saying. It doesn't matter if you are. I'm not the talking. Last no, man. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about pulling the player down. You're talking about a different situation. You said you've not seen another player, yeah, get booked for kicking the ball away. Well, Bruno had it in the Man United game, I, and there was and, way, and, and Trent United and Trent got one said, this yeah. season. So Liverpool fans yeah, telling me in your chat. Oh, yeah. one second. I did mention Manchester United two seconds ago. Yeah, but Trent got one. One second, guys. When the Liverpool fan in the chat just admitted. Liverpool fan in your chat saying. Somebody no, please I'm, tell I'm me. I'm saying Bruno. Game. Bruno definitely got it. Um, yeah, he did. I watched the game. Yeah. I've so. not seen another player get sent off from that position. No, no, I've but that's Bruno because they're it. not on the no, booking at the time. Lee, I did mention Bruno. I did mention Bruno. Yeah, but Bruno. again, I you're do... making out because it's not a second yellow. That's because One they're second. not on a yellow My, at the time. The context is important, though. I do think the refereeing decisions that we faced this season are not the same level of scrutiny to other teams because I've not seen I have not seen the same level of consistency for the kicking the ball away or delaying the restart as I did for Arsenal getting back to back yellow cards. That's because you're not invested in those other clubs and don't watch Bro, all the other games as much weekend, as you do Arsenal. You Lana, just see clips doing the rounds. Okay, forget about the clips. Lee, no, no, when I watch the games, when I watch on the girl. games, when I watch the games and I watch the ninety minutes, I get aggravated because. Again, did you watch the whole? Have you watched every ninety minutes of Chelsea, Liverpool, Man United, Tottenham, and City? I don't think you, that's physically possible because there's. Quite Thank you. Over. So you're basing your analysis off of no, 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 nothing. You're just basing. No, it off I'm of basing what the analysis. Online. One second, I'm basing the analysis off what I see, what I read, and what I watch. Okay, so with with everything that I've accumulated, all the information and stats, and all the games that I've seen, I've only seen a cum. Uh, an accumulation of Arsenal consistently getting those similar situations, getting consistently punished for it, but referees being extremely soft and lenient for other people. For yeah, example, you've just admitted you don't watch all the other games. So how are you basing you this analysis? You physically cannot watch the game they're from? on at the same time. Okay, so how are you? How are you saying that these players are not getting booked? Are you going back and checking every yellow card in these games? No, because even much as they don't show you every year. Second, you're Art Lee. You're trying to win the side argument. You're ignoring my. No, no, I'm, I'm asking you a question. I'm being respectful. We are. No, it's no, your I channel, again, that. yeah. And I appreciate I you having me on. I told my chat. Is... Yeah, I told my chat. Don't mug you off or the or the panel. Yeah, totally because I ain't going to do that. Yeah, I come on here to have a good debate, and we're having a good debate. However, point, if you've admitted that you don't watch every ninety minutes of every other team, but that's which is physically impossible, still on at the same time. However, how can you then sit there and say we're ref different if you ain't watching all the other games then? Because, because from what I see, Liverpool fans I, told you that Trent got booked against Wolves for kicking the ball away. The Man United fan on this so panel is telling you that Bruno's got done. Yeah, the difference is, yeah, and people were moaning about the Doku one in the game that we played against City. Doku was given the ball back to help restart the game. Yeah, the Doku one where he kicked the ball, he kicked it back to his own teammates to restart the game. No, it was our time to kick the ball. 
Right. Oh, sorry. I'm lying. He gave it back to, I think it was Rice. Was it Rice? He yeah, gave the ball to Rice. Away from us. Yes, it was right. No, he gave it to Rice. Guys, 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 guys. Sorry, man. Guys, can the, we just agree on one is, thing? Yeah? My main point like, is the reason everybody why. Everybody has agree... had tough decisions gone against them. Yeah. Like, and yeah. Have you have you guys seen the um um Gary Neville uh, podcast with um and the invites? Oh, on, uh, Gary Neville is a, is a ref. No, 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 he gets the ref he gets the referee on. No. I can't remember the referee's name. Um, Howard Webb. Howard Webb. Howard Webb. Yeah, and bro, he goes through like the amount of decisions they got wrong, and now they're trying That's to like PR. Oh, Lee, you always talk about PR for no, Arsenal. I, I see Why don't what we talk it about is. PR for the PGMOL? Well, okay, the, 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 the PGMOL the, 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 that you the didn't know, the PGMOL that you didn't know, is partially owned. All three of them own this: the FA, the Premier League, and the EFL. They fund it and they own it. Yeah, all three of them. Google and it. And they protect it. No, no, no. Hold on. So if they're protecting it, which, of course, they're the referees that they've put in the games, and that's their jobs to hire the referees and put them in. How is there a conspiracy to help Man City then? Because they're charging Man City with 115 charges. Makes no sense for us. So on this hand, we're charging them. On this hand, we're helping them. How about this? Man City's actually suing the Premier League. Did they not find Arteta? Did they not find Arteta? For what? Well, after the Newcastle game? Yeah. Yeah, why? Because he says it's a disgrace. And, not, and, uh, and listen, and listen, and he got. Did he got not beat the case? Yeah, listen, one second. The word disgracia doesn't mean disgrace in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. It's a disgrace, a disgracia, disgracia. <laughs> he knew what he was saying, bruv. He's lived in England long enough and his English is a very high level. Yeah, I'm English. I don't even speak better English than him. Yeah, his English is actually very good. Yeah, he knew what he was saying. Yeah, he knew exactly what he was saying, bro, but he got off on a technicality. Yeah, because that word he got out of it with his Spanish native language, yeah, or Catalan. No, it's Basque. Sorry, it's Basque. He got off on that, yeah, on a technicality. He was calling them a disgrace and got off on the technicality of the word disgracia, not meaning disgrace in Spanish. Yeah, so smart. that's how we beat that. Yeah, he is smart. He is a smart guy. I believe he wants to win, which is why I'm peed off that this club has gone backwards since last season by getting rid of too many players and having a thinner squad now than last season. So when we're all sitting there as a fan base online, Moaning about refs, bro. This is the real point. talk. Do you not Come feel on. like some of the decisions, Lee? All I ask you get, you get why be honest. You keep some of these decisions out. are subjective, and you've seen it not be given. Yeah, and right now, these decisions the Saliba one and the two red cards, the Saliba are one's a straight red. The Saliba one's a straight red. Let me just but say, we've seen it not be given for last year, yeah, but, yeah, but we've seen it because, like you said, it's subjective. Yeah, he didn't need to pull him. The guy was going going nowhere, bro. He's not quick. Evan Nielsen is not quick. I've watched him, bro. I didn't need to do that. I We've agree. watched him play against our team. But, yeah, but do you not feel like we've been hard done by referee decisions? Tommy Asu no, versus don't. Newcastle. Okay, I'll give an example. I'll give an example from the game at the weekend. Martinelli, against Liverpool. Double, double yellow. Yeah, but you're talking years ago, bro. Yeah, like I'm talking now. If we want to go back to the game at the weekend, yeah, do you remember when um who was it that was in the corner? Gabriel was in the corner with Darwin Nunes. That should have been a corner. Right? No, no, no. And they were in the corner. Yeah, and Gabriel, no, 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 Gabriel and Darwin Nunes, yeah, in the first half. And Gabriel's rolling him and holding on to him and rolling him. And Nunes is trying to go around him to get the ball. Nunes lets go of him, don't touch him. He, had, he was touching him, but Gabriel linked him behind and they're rolling like that, right in front of the lino in the corner flag, yeah, in our half, right? Gabriel falls on the floor, foul. It's not a foul, bruv. That ain't a foul. So it's, so it's okay when it's Arsenal. No Noodles never got booked for that, but they were having a little chat afterwards. Do you remember? Yeah, as they're walking back, as the game's restarting. That is not a foul. Every time the ball goes out for a, a, um, out of play, both teams put their hands up. Our oh, ball ref, that's cheating. Yeah, because they know it ain't their ball. They know it came off of him. Yeah, let's be real. There was one where Simicast, it went out for a corner and it gave a goal kick. But again, line of sight from the lino, there's a load of players in front of him. He might not have seen it. We see it on a replay, so it looks better on a replay because we get the actual replay. They just see it in real time in a split second. Yeah, they've got a very difficult job, and I'm not about sitting there blaming refs all the time. Some decisions, yeah, for all clubs, I look at and go flipping out. That's a bit harsh. Yeah, that's a bit over the top. That so ain't none a foul. of the reds are harsh. Well, can I can I ask you guys? Like, can I just like kind of into that a little bit because like. With the greatest of respect, I find this conversation pointless because the reality is, yeah, the Thank referee you. in general is already cooked. Like, I feel like really, really, yeah, so, so for me, I always say, yeah, the best thing any team can do is control your own game. You've got to just be able to win the game without the referee. That's the way I always see it, personally. Like, I already know the referees are not going to be 100% transparent to my side. They may not be to, for the other side, too. Just so about me playing my don't football. Don't let them be in control. 
exactly. Take, yes. take away. I'll give you another example, Gal. That ref that you're talking about yesterday, yeah. You do no, realize he ref the FA Cup final in 2017 and sent Victor Moses off. Yeah, for a second yellow card he, to dive in. Chelsea do not like this guy, by the way. Yeah. The, 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 the guy that did your... He dived. I was at the yeah. final. Yeah. yeah. I see it. He was right over the other side of the pitch from where the away fans were. Or, well, I say away fans, Arsenal fans. Right over the other side of the pitch. Oh. When I watched it back, he went down very easy. Yeah. But to give him a second yellow card in a cup final, yeah, for that, he could have just gone, yo, no more of that bullshit. Yeah. Then 2020, yeah, when Aubameyang won us the cup. Yeah. You'll remember this as well. Yeah. That was in... yeah. Xhaka and Kovacic went in 50-50. Kovacic didn't touch him. Xhaka stamped on his foot. They're both on a yellow. There's no VAR at that point. His second yellow carded Kovacic. That should have been Xhaka sent off. Yeah, so we can all moan about refs, but this ref that you're moaning about, bro, this ref gives us more decisions than goes against us. Yeah, like I showed you the clip that I sent you. He was the ref last year when 29 did that on, on Van Dijk. Yeah, when he threw the... And this is my point. Moaning about refs ain't helping because this is all it's helping is the club. Yeah, you are not Bow down and go, well, we're doing enough. We're just there on our own. I, I don't just moan about Arsenal for referees. To be fair, I speak about it for all clubs. When it's Chelsea... Okay, do, okay. Did, you, did, you call out, did you call out the Brighton Nottingham Forest game with three, yellow, uh, three red cards this season? Yes. No, exactly. Bro, the Nottingham, Forest, the Nottingham Forest... The Nottingham Forest Everton game last year... No, no, not, no. This season. Not in the yeah, Forest, Brighton this know, season. Know, not in the Forest Brighton game. this season. There was three red cards in that game. Go and check them. Go and check I, didn't, I didn't check yeah, all yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so this yeah. is my point. Yeah, do you like, and, and it's not a dig at you. No, but I'm yeah. just saying, when I but see some of the bigger I'm channels whose right? names I'm not going to mention, they only go after when it's Arsenal robbed and all this. You know what I'm talking about. My point no, is... I yeah, thought Man United no, no. were robbed on the weekend. No, no, my point... Well, they weren't because that was a penalty. No, that wasn't. No way! No, 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 Lee! Come on, bro. No. There was three penalties in one. Hold on one second. Hold on. That was Lee, a handball at best. Lee. Casemiro oh, was pulling back Lee. one of the players in the box. Oh, that was no, a penalty. no, 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 no. Forget that because that wasn't even looked at. The only thing that was looked at was the lips. Um, um, yeah, it was a penalty. No, but the lip. But he clotted him right on the knee and didn't touch the ball. No, he touched the ball first. Lee, he literally jumped knee. over his leg. He touched the ball with the knee and then Ings handballed the ball. Yeah. And then somehow that's a pen. He didn't have just, it. He didn't have The thing about me is, the thing about me is, I might complain it. about referees, but when decisions go our way, I'm the first person to put my hand up and say, Liverpool, we should have got a penalty. I never blame the refs either way. Okay, but let's say that wasn't let's say that was a penalty and Man United were robbed, yeah? Well, let's say it wasn't a penalty and they were I was robbed. Upset over the, yeah. the performance. So why why is there more hype around Arsenal being robbed all over the internet than there is about Man United because fans? Because Manchester being United fan, Manchester so United should have been four or five. Because we're shit, mate. That's why, and we, no, we no, can't. But, like, we so that's blame my our point, Miguel. You've just nailed the point perfectly. Thank you very much. Because Man United should have been four or five nil up. So what you're telling me is we weren't good enough to go four or five or three or four or three one, four one. Yeah. So now it's on a fine margin. So now, because we weren't good enough to beat Liverpool and our owner called, now we're blaming a ref. That's what you said. Me, that's what you just said. Me, the, I think the main reason why people criticize the ref heavily, especially this season, we're nine games in. We've had three red cards, and there's been a massive controversial decision in in the in the City game. There's been Liverpool a massive controversial has, decision has in this in game. Nine, there's been a massive controversial decision in the Bournemouth game and the Brighton game. So that's four out of our nine games. That okay, is a last lot season, of last season, Liverpool, you, see, you said something, you, I see your tweet, yeah, or a video you did where you said it's unprecedented, no, it was a video, I think it was with Potts and Kenny and also, it's unprecedented that we've had three red cards in eight games, Liverpool it's unprecedented, last season. last season, Liverpool had four in seven, exactly, so it's okay. not unprecedented, no, no, is no. it? No, Liverpool actually had, Liverpool actually they had, had four, four, they had four in, in, in seven, in four in seven, four in seven, four in seven, check games. it, check it, it's four in seven. It was 11 games. Big out, big out, big out. Let me just, I, and let me I don't just... remember each red card, and I can't remember if each one was correct or not. But big best out. believe, but best believe if I thought any of them were incorrect, I would have called it out at the time. Okay, and I out. still believe there was I still believe that there's these referees are terrible for everybody, but we need to stop accepting it. And as a collective, as all the clubs need to come together and do something about it. Because why can't we complain? Uh, let me let me just cook, let me, let me... Referee. Let because we say, all see the massive okay. difference in quality between the league and okay, the Champions cool. League. The Champions League, yeah. I watch all the highlights of the Champions Leagues. Yeah. I I watch La Liga. I've, I've been watching it tonight. Some dead game. Yeah. Their VAR is so much quicker. So much quicker. Guy, you got set, 
if they checked for a red card, yeah, uh, sorry, yeah, and it stayed a yellow. He eventually ain't got a second yellow and got sent off anyway in the yeah. first half. All right, so quick, so quick, bro. Sometimes they don't even they they got the um the semi automated offsides, so it don't take an hour to find out. Yeah, and as for this guy in the chat, yeah, uh, Paul Reeves, where is he? Where is he? Where's he gone? Man, like Paul Reeves in the chat that said, "Is this guy even an Arsenal fan? If, do you ever go? If if that wasn't a pen uh, was a penalty, then why wasn't Martinelli's? Because guess what? Canate won the ball, mate. Yeah, and not only that, Martinelli handballed it before that. Yeah, I'll say this league gunner is me. never an Arsenal you're, you're fan. Being, just, no, no, okay, okay, you're this game. Game. Does this thing? Yeah, do, ever go to games, that, right. brother? Paul, yeah. I've been to, to over five hundred games, game. my friend. What are you waffling what? about? Hey guys, guys, we're all here to have a good football debate. Why are we all well, questioning well, how many games well, and where? Yeah, like, forget all of that, bro. We're here to talk football. Listen, Listen, I get questioned, question, he gets questioned. It is what it no, is. No, but you know what, bro? I had, I had one guy in my chat, bro, telling me, Oh, uh, can you show me the back of your top? And I'm like, bro, I'm not turning around. Yeah, but do you know what it is? Even if you yeah, don't go, you don't have to go to the games to be a even if you don't go to games, yeah, who gives a shit? Yeah, yeah no, it doesn't, bro. Who cares? Oh, but, but my point my is, yeah. doesn't mean less. Lee, Lee, yeah. Lee, do you know the amount of people on Terry Chat? I think it was in the Classico. They even told me you're not even Spanish. Why do you support Madrid? Okay, so if you're from Africa, can you not support a Premier oh, League club? Like one like, second, like, one second, guys. You know, guys you know, yeah, 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 let me just say one we thing. We know, you know we know people I, are going to be critical of each other. I had somebody calling me, somebody calling me a transvestite two seconds ago. Yeah, but we'll forget them. This is what happens. None of these things are. You know what I mean? So we need to we need to just get back to the football. Forget about it. I'm just going to say this, Lee. I don't think we're ever going to agree. On the refereeing decision. No, let me ask you one question. One then, thing, yeah. one thing we can, cool. one thing we can agree on: expectation is to win the league, and whatever happens, whatever happens, we will have a conversation then. But at this moment in time, yeah, it's so I wanted to come. Thank you for watching. This has been Eagle Talks Football. If you enjoyed that video, please do make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button. Check out these next two videos right here on each side of me, and of course, you can subscribe right there. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you that you're watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Peace.